Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. That's Jack? I figured they say something about our weapons. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. You'll have to make him scream a little. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost Spectres is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectres' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Anyway. Something else you need? Or I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. Seems like one more time. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. What can I do for you? I do a little hunting myself, you know. That right. What sort of prey can a squishy human take down? Geth, pirates, mercenary scum. What? Where? The Terminus. I'm heading out again soon and I'm looking for sponsors. Huh. I respect anyone who hunts game like that. Sure. I'll give you a discount. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Bring me back a Geth's head, would you? I'd like to turn one into a desk lamp. 
We can use this. You're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the pools. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. The Leia sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. What will it be? I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... it's green. Guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? I'm done for now. Let me know if you change your mind. People want to hear your story, Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You punched me when my questions hit too close to home. Do you have a minute? Sorry. Don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Saving everyone only happens in vids. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. All of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard, first human specter, hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check vid. Do we get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As Counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. 
I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. The elusive man warned me. He said you're all too stupid and scared to see the truth. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor? Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. This, I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. 
We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please. Let's go. Be careful out there. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think I Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. This looks interesting. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy 2183? To... Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me up. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Ah, my favorite customer. I'm what... just looking around. I'll be here if you need anything. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get? Avolus was in here not too long. Oh, ago. yes. He, I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Now, what's this? Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that he did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. What do you want? I overheard you talking about the fish on the Presidium. What, you mean there actually are some? Sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Weren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. It's just a damn fish. Guns are better than fish. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. 
She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance. Oh. Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. Go ahead and get set up on the normal. Right, I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. get for you. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, with pride. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. 
take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy I might have something here for humans. Not much. You might snare a few tourists with these prices, but I'm not giving you a single credit. Sure, you can find things cheaper if you're willing to risk the black market. Well, you and I could do business if you just charge what this crap is worth. Fine. I'll give you the uppity human discount. And that's all you're getting. This is valuable. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvage parts. I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Hera, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Herod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. There seem to be a lot of Borcha on Omega. No, not too many. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gavel. Why would I tell him anything? <sighs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavel's stocks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavel's tricks. We leave. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out a store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited, I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian Child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. I have things to do. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy
This might be useful. They value their light. They don't have god off and neon everywhere, like Helium or the Citadel. Just the light of people living, moving people. Just enough to know people live there. Captain Gavorn. Head of the Vorcha Task Force. Got something to report? There's an awful lot of Vorcha here. What are they planning? Vorcha? Plan? <laughs> They're a pestilence, nothing more. If they started planning, we'd all be in big trouble. I'll just be going. Keep moving. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Come on in. <laughs> What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Come on, let's get out of here. Close enough. Stand still. Try it and you'll be skating the inside of your colon. I'd almost pay to see that, but it's not an option. You want to talk, you get scanned. All you had to do was ask. I don't ask. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And on your ship, that would matter. Here, we entertain my preferences. So, what can I do for you? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. Why is everyone He out? thinks everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching I'm putting a team Interesting. Because... You're gonna make... That's assuming you can get to him. He's Just tell me how to the find him. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. What can I'm you sure. tell me about Archangel? Not as much. If you make... He's reckless and idealistic. But he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're looking for Morden's The Solarian? I always liked Morden. He's How do I like, get to him? If you really need to find him... Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring him. I 
hear you recruiting. Mm. I'll get paid and the job's done. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Sure, if this is the place This to is go the out. place. Standard fee is five. You'll need your own weapon. And no, this does not make you any questions. Where do we go? Sign in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. A five-year-old can figure out how to use a gun. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. And now you're on Omega. One's a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. Is that what you're calling it these days? That's what it's called when a person works for the betterment of the people around her. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work, which makes me uniquely qualified. And if you skim a little off the top, no one's the wiser, right? Please, Commander, there's no angle. It doesn't take a saint to see that people here are hurting. I can play Omega's game and maybe do some good around here. That's the only angle. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. Though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in this shithole for years. Whoever you are, you stopped being relevant about five minutes after I apparently told you to run. Hey, yeah, that's great. Fuck you, too. Ruin a guy's life. The least you could do is remember. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. I got the message last time. I work at a shipping dock, all right? Leave me alone. Hold your liquor, you shouldn't drink. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. You racist battalion bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. 
He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> First, then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? Magnus kept me around as an advisor. I should be going. You again. Greetings. What do you know about her? I thought she, she came for me here in this What made her decide to leave you oh, alive? She, I knew of it. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten. I killed him. My time is done. I should be going. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh, yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for.
training is point. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has I'm the whole- I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. We're all human. The plague won't affect us. Let's do it. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Vorcha are shooting anything that moves. Never forget the smell of charred flesh. Human. Should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> Humans didn't create this plague. Lies drip from your mouth, like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. I need to find Morden Soul. Humans looking. I hope you... <coughs> I hope... <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't... <coughs> Whatever he was trying to say, it couldn't have been too important. Let's move.
This might be useful.
right for me. They've seen us. Supplement. Professor Morton Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorture. Crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorture a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No. No. Love guys. of God. Take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design. But, must stop playing first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha Garden. Just once, I'd like to ask someone for help and hear them say, Sure, let's go. Right now. No strings attached. Life is a negotiation. We all want. We all give. To get what we want. I think things just got worse. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before District suffocates. Here, take play cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. A doctor doesn't have much chance against a Vorcha horde. You shouldn't have sent him. Hmm, stubborn. Told him not to go. Odds of survival low. But he's smart, careful, bright future, I hope. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release cure. We'll be here. This looks interesting.
Tell you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should be done. Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God. You must think Materians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? How do I know you won't shoot me in the back as soon as I turn around? Like I thought. Kill them all. God, you murdered them in cold blood. You want to end up like those Batarians, just keep on talking. 
Or be smart, turn around, and get back to Morden's clinic. This... this is wrong! Wait until Morden hears about this! No sweat. I'm right behind you. Here we go. Like a toy. I'm on him.
to get that cure into the system, then turn on the fan. You don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Fly, bitch! As you wish. I'm on him. <coughs> Going silent. Gotcha. Lead the way. We've been spotted. Sweat. You got it. Gotcha. They're as good as dead. Going 
down. Enemy charging. They've seen it. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. Professor, how can you thank these monsters? They butchered those Batarians in cold blood. I risked my life to save you. Hell, I saved this whole damn district. Now you're judging me? Shepard's right. Batarians tortured you, would have killed you. Right to kill them. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. 
Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. I honored my part of the bargain, Professor. Yes. Now you... Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. I'm going to look around for a moment. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. Solarians specialize in secret agendas. I'd expect you to understand Cerberus looking out for human interests. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There is virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls. No signs of resistance. New technology. Marvelously advanced. But what? This isn't a game. We've lost thousands of people. God only knows what the Collectors are doing to them. Easy, Commander. Dr. Solis is a problem solver. This is how he thinks things through. We collected evidence from one of the missing colonies, Professor. We need you to analyze it and see if you can figure this out. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? You're not here to study our AI. You need to figure out how the Collectors abducted those colonists so we can counteract their weapons. Understood. Analyze samples, neutralize Collector attack. Uh, which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Hadley, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. We're all gone. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. It's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. If I take you too seriously, I might need to deal with you. Try it. Anyway, relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What did you do when you found out? What do you think? What did you do when you found out? What do you think? Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. What do you know, Cerberus lapdog, military stooge? You do nothing but live for other people. 
Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson, done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater? They really liked that moon. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Sounds like a death trap. Pretty much. But you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on Getting the in will be easy. Getting out should be fun. Let's worry about finding him first. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower, weakening them before leaving... 
improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, infiltration... I don't expect much from the Freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. That should slow him down. So it'll attack the mercs now too? Nice. Were you waiting for us? The info. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check! Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. <laughs> Doesn't look good for Archangel. We've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Up ahead! Come on! Archangel? Shepard. 
thought you were dead. What are you doing here? Good to see you too. I'm just surprised to see you. You and me both. Still, it's good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. If we just wait, they'll pick us off eventually. It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little Merc blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. Here they come! Mercs, rear stand. Right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. Go! Online. Damn it. We're sending out the heavy mechs. That problem should take care of itself.
Heads up. Good point tonight. Down you go. Lipsmer. have made it into the base. Eclipse Mercs, rear stairs. Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side. Heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. I didn't come all this way to let you die. We'll split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Kasumi, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. But I was looking forward to crawling around in a dark basement. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck. Now what's this? Uh, die. 
can't hide from me. Jumping up here, Chef. Don't screw around with those shutters too long. Yeah, yeah, I'm ducking. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. 
can't hide from me! Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on and... Watch out! Damn it, I thought I took that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. They're offloading troops. Watch your back, Shepard.
scare us. Hello, dead people. Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. Hope you didn't need this guy too much. could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? They did what they could, but you're gonna have some scars. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. The Collectors are wiping out human colonies, Garrus. Nobody else cares enough to stop it. I can't argue with that. Hard to believe the Council is letting the attacks go unanswered, though. Damn politicians. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. you've received a new message at your private terminal. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. What is this, high school? Both of you, find something better to do with your time. Of course, Shepard. It is a minor issue. <laughs> with a nuclear response. Joker. Shutting up now, Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander.